So this is a quick tutorial of how to make an injection mould for this part. The first thing to do is to enclose the part in a new material. So I'm going to draw a rectangle 100 by 120 around it and then I'm going to extrude the part symmetrically so I know that it's all held inside. It's important here to make sure you create a new part. If I look at the translucent view now, you can see one part is enclosed in the other. The next thing to do is to do a Boolean operation. So I need to hold down part one, shift, part two, right click and choose a Boolean. And the Boolean I'm going to choose is a subtract. I'm going to choose to subtract part one as the tool from part two, the target. You won't see anything now. When I look at the translucent view, you'll see a ghost part in there, which is the cavity. The next thing to do is to split this mold in two. So I'm going to split the main part, with the plane that runs through the middle. And you can see now it's just created two parts. When I turn them on and off, you can see the cavity that I want to injection mold. To align these two parts, I need to draw some pins. So I'm going to sketch on the face of the part four pins that are 10 millimeter diameter. I'll choose the midpoint and the midpoint so everything is lined up. And I'll choose to make it 80 by 90. I'll then add some 10 millimeter holes around each one and now I've got my 10 millimeter holes I'm going to extrude them all out by 20 millimeters to help them line up I'm going to add a small chamfer to the top of each one two millimeters will be fine and then going to repeat the operation instead of adding the parts this time I'm going to remove them I need two last features for my mould now. So I'm going to draw an ejector point with a runner where the polymer would be ejected. I'll put that right in the middle of the part. I'll choose to remove that. Just check it goes all the way through into my part and I'll add a small chamfer onto the top. And the last thing I'll do is to add some air release holes so the air inside the mold can escape, don't get any air bubbles. And to do that, I'm just going to do a very, very thin little line. So I'll just remove to a hair's thickness and that will let our air escape. Now I've got my two parts, I just need to create a technical drawing of each. So I'm going to right click on part one, create drawing. I'm going to go for the four views because I'm already set up and create a new view, create a new drawing. And in here, I can change my settings. So for example, I can show the hidden lines. And I can start to add dimensions where appropriate. If 
finally, I can go in, I can add my material. And then I've created my technical drawing for the part for commercial manufacture.